the nerds have entered the pro bending arena, or at least the version released in 2018 by Sen Fung Lim and Jesse Wright. It's head to head car drafting combat as Tom and Beck face off as the heroic fire ferrets and the dastardly wolf bats. First to knock their opponent off the edge of the ring or to have the most benders left when the referee calls the matches the winner. Normally in this game, you decide who's going first um, based on who last watched Avatar, The Last Airbender or Legend of Korra, uh, but we're fairly sure we watched that together. So we're gonna use Chwazi. All oh, right, I'm so sorry. That means I'm gonna win. Uh, whoever goes first starts on two chi. Chi is how you purchase new cards. Uh, we all start with some cards flipped over. The other person starts on three chi. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because the first thing you do on your turn every turn is go up one chi. So I am up to three. I will draw three of these cards here. Alrighty then, that's a fairly good start. You have to do every single action on one of your cards. So I'm going to start by moving Korra one because that little foot symbol means you move. Then my girl Korra is going to launch an attack, and in this case, two attacks up to one space away. So the number in the circle is how many attacks, the little arrows is how far away, um, diagonals count as away, so I'm going to launch them uh, there at your little Tano waterbender. Uh, Bolin is going to block, there is nothing to block on my space, so then he is going to launch two attacks but separately, and this comes into play because uh, you can't launch attacks at places where there's already attacks for that element. So I can launch the first attack there, just fine. I then can't launch the second attack there, it's gotta go somewhere else, it's gonna go there. Then Marco is going to launch an attack here. He is going to move into the middle, doing a bit of a shuffle there, and uh, I'm gonna launch another attack at Tano. Cool. That is my turn done. I can now purchase cards. I am going to spend my three on that. Uh, it's a spiral flare kick. Solid little card. Goes on top of my deck so I can pull it next time. Oh, my chi goes down. I flip over one card. That one there. Ten. My chi is going to go up one, so I'm now on four. Now, the order of this is going to be important. So I'm going to start with rock solid with Ming. He's going to block this one that you've launched at me. Solid. And now I don't move, but I have two attacks up to two spaces away. So we're gonna take these two and we can go diagonally. <sighs> he drew one of each, so it doesn't really matter where I send them, but I'm gonna send them at Cora. Sure. We're gonna go here, cause that's one, two. Now, Tano is going to move left into the space with Ming. Now he has two piercing attacks up to three spaces away. Piercing attacks are cool because they go through any defenses that are already there. Once they're on the board though, they just become normal attacks. You bought a fire move. That I did. So I'm gonna send these to Bolin. Sure. Now I have radiant heat. So you're going to take a step that way. We're going to send a fire attack to Korra. Mm -hmm and another fire attack to Mako, but I'm gonna put them the right way up so we can tell which are my attacks. Sure. And that's my turn. You I have- check for hits before you purchase cards. Uh, you are no longer getting hit by anything. All my stuff clears off the board. Now you can purchase cards. Now I can purchase cards. Um, I'm going to take Flash Flood for four. Let me flip a new card out. These go over here, and I go down to zero. Now that is my turn. Done, right. My chi goes up to one. Now this is gonna be some tough choices. All right, Bolin is gonna block, getting rid of one of those. Then he's going to attack one space there, and one space there. Marco is going to attack this one, just gonna clear it away instead of grabbing one, and then move. And then he's going to attack this space here. Then he is going to piercing attack here, so double attack there. And then he is going to move. Unfortunately, piercing attacks can't be used to clear away these blocks. That's all I can do. Korra is getting hit, but I've saved her from getting knocked off the edge. Then three spaces away, one, two, three. Gonna launch three attacks at these dudes here. 
Then you check for hits. Unfortunately, I couldn't save my guys totally, so Berlin is getting knocked back one. Cora is getting knocked back two. You can choose where to put them anywhere across that line. I'm putting them in the middle. Um, your stuff clears away. Uh, and then I get to purchase some new things if I so wish. There's, I could purchase something for one, but it's for Cora. She's so far away. I don't see the point. I'm gonna flip something over for her. Um, now, when I get to reshuffle my cards to then draw up, because I've only got the one left to draw, I can choose to discard one, which I shall do now. I shuffle these and it's your turn. All right, so my G goes up by one at the start of my turn. Now, I get to go. So, I had it all planned out in my head. So I'm gonna start with River's Edge. And that's me moving Tano out of the way. Now, I get two water attacks, piercing two piercing attacks. water attacks, up to three spaces away. I'm going to send them at Korra. Oh, I knew you were a filthy, dirty cheater. At, at, there are no yellow fans on these cards. Two, two attacks. Two. Yeah. yeah. Three spaces away, two attacks. I just get tripped up. Okay. Now, I have Radiant Heat yep. for Xiao Zhu. He's moving out of this space into this one. Yep. But I have two fire attacks that can go up to two spaces away. Yep. So I'm hitting that one. Yep. And I'm hitting that one. Sure. And I'm taking they these ones clear out. Clear away. And then. Now, I have Flash Flood, which gives me a movement. Yep. So I'm going to move into this space. Sure. Now, there are piercing attacks, so I can't get rid of them, but I think I know what I want to do. You got this. So these you. can go up to two spaces away. So if I send my three piercing attacks here, yep. two, three, this card also has a special attack which lets me put attacks into adjacent spaces, but they're not piercing attacks. No. So I can take that okay, one no. there. Yep and take that one off the board. That is absolutely correct. But I also have another adjacent space that I can put one into. Because there's two there. Yep. And I'm putting Sends it there. there. And I get to move again. So I'm moving out of that space and into that one. Nice play. So it's the end of my turn. Now I have to check for hits. Ming couldn't block enough of the attacks, but I've stopped him from being knocked off the entire field. So he'll go back two. So one, two. Yep. These clear away because they've been hit. Nice After that, these. those go away. You can purchase cards if you've got them, but I, I've only got one chi. I only have one chi, so I can't purchase anything, so I'm just gonna put everything away. Now I get to discard a card, so I'm going to... Yep, you do also have to flip over another card. You do that at the end of every single turn. I'm going to flip over a um, fire Because when you run out of those cards, that's what can trigger the end of the game. So I'm gonna get rid of that one, put it away so you can't see what it is. Yep. This is mine, so now I just reshuffle these. Solid. Um, first of all, gonna get Korra to safety. Well, first of all, you're gonna get chi. Yeah, I mean, that's important. First of all, Miguel Cora is going to move out of the way of danger. Then she's going to protect little Bobby in here. Uh, just going to go right, right there. Two little defenses up for him. Then, this is where things get interesting. Flash Flare for Marco. One attack, go in here. He's going to move into danger. He is going to launch another attack right here. Double Flash Flare. Launching one attack there. Move. One attack there, covering all my bases. We check the hits. I got nothing, so these are all clear. I didn't put my chi up because I forgot, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, I'm on two chi. I could purchase something from Marco, and I think I will. Even though it is a, a very cheap card and I'd love to save up for more expensive ones, I think I've got some good stuff coming for Marco. So that is going to come soon. Ba -ba -bam, ba -ba -bam. I draw my three cards. These go into my discard pile. Your turn. Ming may be on the back defenses, but he still has some things left in play. Rock solid. He has nothing to block, but he can throw two earth attacks up to two spaces away. So I'm putting two there. Yep. So one clears. One will clear. One will go there. In the right piles. And one will go there. Now, he's going to do... Is he going to do the same thing? Or are you going to discard for chi? Which we haven't done yet, but you can, yeah. you can discard a card to get extra chi. Alright, alright. So, playing rock solid again. 
Once again, I can send an attack two spaces away. So I'm going to send one attack there, get rid of those, put that there more, as an extra bit of more, defense. More defense, solid, solid. Now, Shazu, Shazu yep. is going to move. Sure. I'm actually going to move him into the space with my waterbender. Yep. But he also gets two attacks. I'm going to send one at Mako. Yep. Up to two spaces away. And then I'm going to send one into here, get rid of, getting rid of that attack there. You know it's just going to clear in a second mm. anyway. You could just launch it out onto the field anyway. All right, if you insist, I'm going to put it there. Yeah, so that, that clears. You've got some extra attack. It's, she's a cheater, but it still means that. Uh, she's a cheater. I should still help her. You done? You good? All my stuff clears out of the way. It's including those. I... Uh, did my chi go up at the beginning of my turn? You did not. You should be on two chi. Did not. It was on two chi. I didn't discard anything, and I can't buy anything. So. Now, I go up to one chi. I'm just gonna discard the two of these for two extra chi because I don't really need them. Like it's blocking and some extra attacks, but they're fine. Solar burst. That card I just bought moves him out of the way. And I launch three attacks. I'm gonna launch them straight at your guys, just because that's you know makes the most sense. So one clears that, and then the other two sit there. Um, I believe that's the end of my turn. I don't want to buy any of these for three, so I'm gonna flip over this last one for Marco. I'm gonna pick up this one and I'm gonna get rid of one of these. But you can take your turn, Rebecca. You filthy cheater. I'm feeling really attacked right now. So. I'm actually going to discard a card at the beginning of my turn and gain two chi. One from the start of my turn and continuing on. Now, we're going to start with Radiant Heat. And Xiaozu is going to move right out of the way of the fire. He's going to send one attack at Mako's face mm -hmm. and he's going to send one attack. Oh, these cleared, didn't they? There, they should have cleared. They should have cleared. It's cool. We'll get there. This one also clears. Tom doesn't know how to organize piles. Now I'm sending one in here to get rid of that. Yep, solid. Now, that is Radiant Heat done. I'm going to play Flash Flood. Tano is going to move left out of the way of the fire attack. Now we have three piercing attacks. We're going to send them right there. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, with spaces with adjacent moves into additional spaces. We're going to put one there, and we're going to put one there, Some more. and I get to move again, so I'm just going to move out of the way. Out of the way, and that's my turn. Cool. Are you gonna buy any cards with your? I'm not. Interesting. You're saving up for the big ones. Saving that up for the big a, ones. That is a good move. Okay. I'm enjoying Flash Flood. It's, it's uh, that is a that is a dirty card. So first off, let's save Bolin. Lock that one, uh, and then I'm gonna send. Fence here, and just for what it's worth, clear one of those. Then, Marco, Spiral Flare Click. Oh, I'm in that one also, please. We've got to remember to clear all these spaces back. We're not doing good with it. I need to remember to discard cards when I reshuffle. Do you mind if I just do that yeah, now? do that now. And then my boy Marco is going to send two piercing attacks right here. He's going to move out of fire danger into water danger but send two piercing attacks here. Then he is going to send one attack here, move into some defense from his little bro, Bolin. No. Nope. Send one there. Is that yours? Because that's my color. That is the one that I sent for. It needs to be on your color, Tom. Otherwise, I'm going to think it's mine. That is fine. Uh, that is all my attacks, all my moves done. That stuff goes there. I'm going to spend my four chi on this good old card here for my boy Bolin. Check for hits, nothing hits, these clear. And that should be your turn. Alrighty. Go up one chi, remember to do everything. Starting by going up one chi. We're professionals. We are professionals, we know how to do this. I'm playing rock solid for Ming. He has nothing to block, but he can Block. Send out some attacks. Send out some attacks. So we're going to send 
two tacks right here just to clear out that fire so that can go away and that goes there. Now Tano is in no immediate danger. Now I'm gonna play Radiant Heat and we're going to move Shazu into the fire. Get More the flames. We're going to send one fire attack into this space here, just getting rid of it. Now, we get to send one more attack out. I'm actually going to send it at Mako, getting rid yep. of this. Thing. Sure. Mm, no, I'm not, because it's going to disappear anyway. I'm going to put it there. Sure. On my side. Yeah. And now, we use Rock Solid again. Ming has nothing to block, however, he does have two attacks two at attacks. his disposal, getting rid of these two flames. <sighs> Ming MVP from all the way back there. What a dude. So, those go there. My stuff clears, you don't get hit. Again. <sighs> However, it is the end of my turn, so I do get to choose to buy something, if I so wish. Oh, you got some good stuff there. I do. I'm going to grab Frozen Floor for um, Tano. And I'm gonna flip out the card. Solid. I'm not entirely sure I did that for my last turn, so. Ow, it's fine, I'm sure we'll just leave it. Sure. The video will tell us later if she's a cheater, but we already know because she's playing the wolf bats. <sighs> cool. I'm feeling very prejudiced right now. I get some chi. I'm not really under any threat I feel like I'm right missing now. Cards. I've got six. Yeah, you've cleared two. Cleared two? Yeah. Oh, and because I'm reshuffling my deck, I get to get rid of something. If you so wish. So uh, wish. Who do I really hate right now? I'm going to go with the fact that you just bought that super powerful card for uh, your water dude. So bowl in, coming out with some real heavy stuff. Four piercing attacks up to two spaces away. One, two, three, four. They are piercing, so they ignore your puny little defenses here and they have two holds on them. Now holds can only go on when you've got tokens there. Fortunately, piercing attacks kind of guarantee you're gonna get there and holds stop the first two movements that happen for each turn. So, that's pretty good start by ball end. Then I'm going to, I'm not under any threat, discard Korra's card for Chi, going up to two. And then I'm going to move Marco right into this corner and send three attacks at, I uh, forget your guy's name, but he's a filthy cheater. Shaozu. Shaozu, filthy cheater Shaozu. Um, that is my entire turn. I can't purchase anything. I will flip over this card. This clears, this goes over here. I do get to reshuffle, but I'm not gonna clear any cards because I think I've done that too much. Oh. No, let's, yeah, no, let's keep the cards I've got. Um, so this one comes up, these will shuffle. It is now your turn, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm just gonna organize this. So because they're piercing, they didn't ignore that. Yeah, but that one does to clear. five, so I go back one on the Chi Tracker. Because we always forget. Because I'm not remember. a cheater. I mean, I mean, look at who you're playing. Let's be real here. Hey. You well, can play your cards now. We'll, we'll, we'll just skip we'll past the, the banter. Aren't, aren't, aren't not cute. <laughs> Brock solid, nothing to block on Ming, but we have two that we can block yep. here. So we're Such just gonna take these move. two away. Such good move. Just goodbye so for good. you. That's been saving your bacon. It Meanwhile, has. Cora back here is just like Now. Stupid avatar. Radiant heat. Yep. Moving Shaozu over to the left. We're going to attack one of Bolin's thingies. Throw that away. Now I get to send one more attack. I'm sending it to Mako. Interesting. And for my final move. You dirty person. I play Frozen Floor. So oh, that's bad. Tano is going to be taking the hits on these ones, but he's only got one hit to take. So we're going to send three piercing attacks to Mako. And a daze. Please explain what a daze does for those viewers at home who aren't me and just, just so you're as horrified as I am at this. So what the daze does is if you have more than one attack on a card, I'm using this one to show you, it actually negates you using that first move on that card. First of any kind of action. So if you have a block, can't do that. If you have an attack, can't do that. If you have a move, can't do that. So when I called her a filthy cheater, it wasn't just me being rude, like it's actually within the game. The judge is gonna see this and make her roll this dice at the end. 
If it comes up with this, she gets in trouble, but finish your attack first, you filthy cheater. So, I'm going to send more Frozen Floor to Bolin. One, two, three. And a daze. And you'd better believe I'm sending it to Korra, who's way on the edge of the, on the, edge of the arena. Because I left them all on the one side. And they're all within range of Frozen Floor. Now. Roll that dice, you filthy cheater. We need to see if the judges seem to think I'm as dirty a cheater as Tom makes me out to be. And they do not. They do not. Rough, but take that hit. So, Tano gets knocked back one. These clear from the board. These clear. My turn. Okay, what can I do? Can I save everyone? I don't. Just for posterity's so. sake, I don't have anything left to do, so I'm going to flip out a card. Spiral Flame Kick. First attack gets negated by the daze. Then he moves, Marco is safe. I will send three piercing attacks at Shao Shao Zhu. Yes. Shao Zhu. Right there. Stack them. Then I will send one back at Bolin to save him. I will move again. I will send one back at Bolin to save him. He is mostly safe. Korra moves, but doesn't. Korra is uh, Korra's dying, ladies and gentlemen. The Avatar is not safe today, but she does save her friend Bolin, sending one attack to clear that one, and another attack as some extra defense. Now we check for hits. I also got up to three cheat because I did that on my turn. It shouldn't happen before. Uh, Korra knocked way back into the water. She's mostly fine. She's a waterbender and an earthbender and a firebender. That's what she does. Uh, and an airbender. I mean, That's the some, point of the show. Sometimes, if she can figure it out. I gain three chi for losing someone. So I'm on to six chi. I lose all of Korra's cards. That way, speeding up the end of the game because, well, I've lost one of my decks completely. Um, I will get to purchase a card and I am purchasing Marco's five cost card, sending me down to one. These all happen and go. Bolin is safe for now. The daze disappears. This can sit over here. I will draw three cards. I hate you so much. Your turn. We're gonna start with Radiant Heat and move Shaozu out of the way. Then we're going to send one, one fire attack right there, mm -hmm. and one fire attack right there. Sure. Uh, I believe these clear now. Oh, yeah. Because that was the end of your turn, uh, which means my attacks go. Yes. And what was it being the end of your turn, the beginning of my turn, going up a cheat? Well, well, we're getting there, guys. It's fine. We're professionals. Now, do, 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 do. We're going to use Flash Flood. Mm, that's a dirty card. So Tano's going to move four, move right. Now, we're going to send three water attacks into Mako space. One, two, let's turn them. Turn them the right way. Right way, yep. In terms of adjacent spaces, we're going to send one right there. And then we're going to negate. Interesting. That one. Interesting. Last card, you got any more cool stuff to do? Uh, not really, but we're gonna send two earth attacks. Actually, you know what? No, we're not gonna do that. I'm Can going to discard, discard it, it for Chi. For Chi. Nice. So that puts me up to three, and I now have the choice to purchase, which I'm going to do. So I'm purchasing my fire card. It's the end of my turn, so I flip out a card. These now go in the discard pile. Now I draw this card, and now I get the option to disappear some yep. of these cards. And I'm gonna let you do that, because I got some crazy stuff coming now. Um, first of all, discard this card for Chi. So I go up one to start my turn, up one to there, I am on to three. Then, Flash Flare, I am going to send an attack. Oh, I mean, this clear. Come on, man, do your job. Do your job. Nah. Send an attack, just a single attack, at you dude here. Then, I am going to move and send a single attack here. 
Then, Firestorm. Three piercing attacks up to four spaces away. One, two, three, that is fine. Three at your guy all the way back there. Then, two piercing attacks at Tano. Then, one piercing attack up to four spaces away. One, two, three, four, there. Then, one piercing attack up to four spaces away. One, two, three, four, there. Then, the Fire Ferret's absolutely best move in that it's kind of situational and actually not all that impressive right now. I get to counterbend, which means this one fire token here flips and goes here. Sure. So I'm hoping I can get some hits in. They are all safe. They clear away. Uh, I am on three, so I can't buy anything. I'm gonna flip that one over. They go here, I draw two, and I'm going to get rid of this one. What a surprise. Shuffle these up. Your turn, Rebecca. Okay. Did I do good? Did I do good? You did. I think I did good. I'm going to sacrifice Ming. So Ming can block one, which gets rid of these. One of those. But he only has two attacks, and I can't send them into my own space. No. No. Attacks are into other spaces. Blocks are your own space. Yep, that's fine. So I'm going to save Tano with my two attacks. Solid. Tano's turn. We're gonna use Frozen Floor again. Oh, really? That's dirty. And we're going to send three water attacks at Mako yep. with the daze. We're going to send three water attacks at Bolin. One, two, three, with the daze. I'm really hoping you get caught by the judge, hey? And we're going to send three water attacks into this space here. With no days, but still there. Now, I need to roll the yellow fan, because it is a bit of a cheat move. Just a bit. <sighs> still nothing. That die should really be a 50-50. It should a... be, but ingenuity wins, because now we have power flare. So, uh, Shaozu is going to take a hit on this one, but I'm moving into this space here. We're going to send a piercing four attack up to four spaces away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it there. Because if Bolin can move, I don't want to move in anywhere that he can't get a hit on him. Now, there is a daze on that one, but I'm sending it into a space without a player, so I just have to take the fire fan or whatever it is. And we'll get a nice non-cheating roll. Ah! Nice! So, I have a fan on that character, but two fans and he's out. I've only got one so far. Xiaozu has a fan. Let's check for hits. Just the one. Just the one I needed. The one. So, that gets knocked back. It's the first line advance of the game. Everything clears, the game resets, pretty much. Uh, all of these guys, because there's a, a gap now, uh, my guys will move forward all the way up to where they are. I can choose where to put them. I'm gonna put them here. Um, those ones, uh, you check for hits on those as well. So unfortunately he does lose. Which gets me three chi. One, two, three. Yep which gets me the ability to buy a card, so I'm going to purchase Heat Wave. Yep. Right on top there. These get discarded. You clear going away to flip all out of that. The card. But it is not my turn. When a line advance happens, you repeat the person's turn who just got advanced on. So Rebecca has just bought a very, very powerful card, and it is her turn. Now, in our absolute professional state of uh, really just trying to butt heads and guide each other here, we forgot about the momentum token. Uh, it's what they use to break ties. Basically, whoever's got the momentum token, if there is an absolute tie at the end, wins. Um, Beck would have got it when she first knocked out Korra, but then I would have got it when I knocked out whoever her Earth guy is. So, Ming. Ming. The name. Ming. Ming. Ming was a bro. Ming did some cool stuff. Your turn with that awful card you just purchased. I'm going to discard a card for the start of my turn to mm -hmm. get. It's the start of my turn, I go up to two, yep. and I'm going to go up one more with three purchase. Sure. 
or with 3G. I'm going to start my turn with Flash Flood. Moving Tano left, we're going to send three water attacks up to two spaces away into Bolin space, and furthermore into adjacent spaces. So one yep. there and one there. one there. So those are going to go there. Nice. So and I then move. Tano gets to move again. Yep. I'm moving all the way over there. Now finally, we have Heat Wave, which was the super duper fancy card that I have. It's a dead card. And it's not a cheating card, so all is well in the land of me. It's filthy. The judge just doesn't care. Going to move Shaozu to the right, and we've got four piercing attacks up to four spaces away with the daze. I'm going to send them on to Mako. Brutal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, four, four, and four, with my days, right there. Now I have two more piercing attacks up to two spaces away, which was why I moved Shaozu to the right, because now both of, the, both of Tom's attackers are one space adjacent. So I don't have to send it two spaces away. Sure. I don't have to do any math. No math for me today. So, two more attacks, plus a days. That's the end of my turn. How is that not the filthiest, cheatiest card? Like... I don't know, man. I don't make the rules. I just play them. End of my turn with my 3 chi. I'm going to buy a card. I'm going to buy this one here. Send that there. Flip that out. So that's mine. That's mine. And now I shuffle these. All in you together. should be able to go. I bought Four three chi. Okay. First things first. I move, but I don't. And then I launch three attacks at Bolin's space to attempt to save him. Uh, just three. So that is some fire, counteracting some fire, and some water. Is this still my fire? That is still your fire. Then... I only sent two fire into that attack, into that space, didn't I? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Just trying you're, to make you're, sure you're I You're not that ask. much of a cheater. Yeah. Uh, then... Uh, so that daze is gone. I shall launch two attacks at mana, which these two ones weren't piercing, but they are. Two attacks at your dude here. Then I move, making him safe. Then I will launch two attacks at your dude here. So unfortunately for me, the only card I've got left only has the one action on it. So the days is just gonna cancel like that. I'm just gonna discard it for Chi, pushing me up to five. Uh, we'll check for hits. Bolin's getting hit twice. Gonna send him back here. This all clears. But I am going to purchase. I'm gonna purchase both of those, I think. So you can buy more than one card? As long as you got as long as you got the chi, you can purchase the cards. There, there, flipping over my last card for bowling. Those go on top. I draw this other one. Let's go, Rebecca. Beginning Game time. My turn, I discard a card for a chi. So I go up to two because it's the start of my turn, so I gain a chi. Now, oh man, it's tough. It is tough to decide what to do first. Flash Flood. We're moving Tano to the left, out of the way of the fire. And we're going to send three piercing attacks right at Mako. Okay. Okay. Getting serious. One, two, three. There's no dazes here, but I am going to send one attack to each side. Mm -hmm. Now, <sighs> breathing. So next I'm going to play Mercury Rising. I'm going to use the first movement on this card to move Shazu left. Now the problem is that it only has piercing attacks on the card, so I can't use it to get rid of attacks already on the field but I can still fill out the board with attacks before Shaozu gets knocked off. He is, oh man, he's so gone. Fire to so the face. We're gonna send the fire there, cause that can, well, first and foremost, we're gonna not cheat. Yep. Fire has to go into one adjacent space. Then we have two piercing attack, then, then, piercing then, fires then attacks. Then you move, that's the important thing. Now I move. Thanks man, appreciate it. And I move them into 
two piercing attacks up to two spaces away. We're going to put those on Mako. Oh. And that's my turn. We check for hits. He gets hit twice. Bang, bang. Because he's knocked out, I get three chi. three chi. One, two, three. His cards go away. These go here. And I'm left with Tano. Cool. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated because the rule book is famously very badly written. What I'm fairly sure happens here, because Beck cannot flip one of her strategy decks over, it is now empty, she rolls this dice. If the fan shows up, the referee calls the match. Because I have two benders to her one, I will win. Alrighty, let's do this. Sweet. Let's go. Uh, these ones clear. Yep. And it is my turn. My boy, Bolin. Uh, excuse you. You get to purchase cards, I apologize. You get to purchase cards. Yep, that's important. You can purchase the other one too if you have three chi left. I will, thank you. You're welcome. Just to make sure this game gets real exciting at the end. So, first of all, my boy, Bolin, is going to send one piercing attack up to three spaces away. One, two, three. Then he's going to move. And he's going to send one piercing, uh, just one normal attack, fortunately, up to two spaces away. So I'm going to send it here to clear your water. Then send one here to clear this. And then for what it's worth, send one here to clear one of these. <laughs> then, Excuse me. Marco is going to send a fire here. Then Marco is going to move, so he is safe. He's going to send a fire there. Then Marco is going to move again all the way over here, and from there he will send his fire trap, two piercing tokens, into here with a hold. Now, Rebecca, here's the fun part. I get to do that roll thing too. Kinda hoping that I don't end the game here because I'm interested to see what happens. I think I'm gonna lose. Let's go. I think I'm gonna lose the game. You think you're gonna lose? So I only have water moves available to me, so of course I'm going to get rid of Radiant Heat. That'll get me two chi. Not that it matters. Now, what are we gonna do with a drunken sailor? We're going to use Jawbreaker. We're going to move Tano. You're not, because he's got a hold. You're gonna get rid of the hold first of all. I'm going to get rid of the hold. Hold for days. Now, I can't send the movement into the space that I'm in. Send the attack into the space you're in? No, you cannot. <sighs> Is that game? You don't have any more movement? I don't have any more movement. Rather than play it out, I think I'm just going to call it. My last move was a headshot, which only... Oh, man, that could have been a brutal combo. Holds and days all in one. But the good guys, the fire ferrets, got there in the end. I that was fail a, to see how you're the good guys. That was a, anyone who's watched the show knows that I'm the good guys. Like let's let's be real here. That's just that was a, a solid game. Well well played. Thank you. I'm gonna take both of these because I deserve it. I find that for my two believe. guys who were actually good, as opposed to the avatar who was awful. Um, that's Pro Bending Arena. It's a lot of fun. The, the Kickstarter version of it is fantastic. We played with the original um, two, two teams today, uh, but there are a bunch of other teams with a bunch of other special abilities. You can mix and match the decks. Um, it's, it's just solid, like solid little card drafting combat game. Cannot recommend it enough. We're Nerds of the West. If you like this kind of thing, we'll be coming out with some more jewels again soon. Um, check us out on Twitch. That's all down below. All our social media as well. Uh, hit us up if you've got any other games you want us to check out, especially Kickstarter stuff. We'll love checking those things out. And we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.